Captain's log, stardate 2336.9, Captain Jack Kirk reporting. Compromise is currently patrolling Sector 6. First Officer Smock, with the help of Communications Officer Ahura Bama, is performing deep space scans. Status report, Mr. Smock! I'm feeling fine, Captain. Thanks for asking. Although I'm a future you might say something like, how are you, Mr. Smock, rather than... No, no, I was report. asking for a status report of the ship, not you. So you... Just don't care about my feelings at all. <laughs> no, that's not at all. I I do care about your feelings. Huh? Uh, what I mean is, I care about the feelings of all crew members. Really? Yeah. But I would like to know the status of the ship. You want to know the status of my hips? <laughs> no. I just want to know the status of the compromise. That's all. Well, you could have simply asked that in the first place. I will perform a complete and comprehensive check on the status of the ship. Please stand by. Captain, my scan indicates that we are about to collide with a giant space potato. Giant space potato? Are you sure there's nothing on the view screen? Yes, Captain. A giant, invisible space potato. It is like nothing we have ever seen before. <laughs> well, I mean, as it is invisible, we cannot see it. But if it were not invisible, it would be like nothing we have ever seen before. <laughs> I recommend we make a sharp right turn really fast. Um, you mean a starboard turn? Could you be a little more specific as to the speed? Of course, Captain. Speed should be really, really fast. <laughs> Now, Captain, or the entire ship will be destroyed, and all life as we know it will end. Lieutenant, could you please confirm Mr. Smock's reading? Of course, sir. We are presently on course for Starbase 11 at point 3. ETA two days, 6 hours and 11 minutes. Ship status is optimal, with all stations reporting it as operational. Oh, so no giant, invisible <laughs> space potato? <laughs> no, no, sir. Sorry, Mr. Smock. <laughs> no need to apologize, Lieutenant. Thank you for confirming my readings. <laughs> Kurt here! Captain, the engines can't take much more of this! <laughs> well, hello to you too, Spotty. Is there a problem with the engines? No, sir. The engines are in perfect working order, but you're pushing them too hard! Lieutenant, I thought we were really doing warp three. That's correct, sir. Warp three. Spotty, our warp engines are rated with a cruising speed of warp six. I don't think warp three is too fast, do you? Well, uh, no, sir. See, <laughs> so what exactly is the reason for calling the bridge? Well, it's just that I, well, here. It just gets so lonely down here. <laughs> Captain Kurt, Admiral 
Spacey. Spacey, you old space dog, how are you? Fine, Jack, just fine. How are things on the compromise? Run into any green Orion slave women lately? <laughs> you know the one with three. And how can we help you Yeah, well, uh, Confederation Intelligence has been picking up rumors of clingy incursions into friendly space. I wish I could say I was surprised. Did you really expect them to honor the peace treaty? I had hopes, I still do. We were at war with the Klingies for a long time. Peace was the right decision. Where exactly have these incursions been reported? Oddly enough, in the Orion system. But that area isn't part of Confederation space. Technically, no, but the Orion system governor has unofficially requested Confederation assistance. They don't want the Klingies there. Understood. What do you want us to do? You're to proceed to Galaga, third planet in the Orion system. There's a, a bar there called the Club Cacophony. Just take a look around, see if you see any Klingies. Um, any other orders, sir? Just one. Keep the peace. You're not there to start a war, Jack. We we want to protect the Orions, but not at the expense of the Clingy Peace Treaty. Understood? Understood, sir. Compromise out. Well, Mr. Smock, what do you think? I think we might get some Orion slave girl action very soon. <laughs> Did I say that in my out loud voice? <laughs> Oh, yes, you did, Mr. Smock, and quite frankly, I can't believe my ears. Or your ears, for that matter. <laughs> what I meant to say was that this will give us an excellent opportunity to study Orion culture and allow it to enrich our lives in a very moving and personal way. <laughs> Which is another way of saying we might get some Orion slave girl action. <laughs> so, thank you, Mr. Smock. Set course for Galaga! Maximum warp! Aye, sir. <laughs> <laughs>